This is the bottleneck problem that we did in class. You have two items. A demand is given. Time required to process each of these items in four stations is listed here. You have the selling price and you have the raw material and you need to figure out what is the optimum quantity you must make to maximize your total contribution. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that you have solver here included. So click on data tab and make sure you have the solver. If you don't have solver, you need to go to file. You need to go to options. You need to go to add in and you need to select analysis tool pack and click on go and Excel add in and make sure solver is selected. Click OK and now solver will be there. So at this point the problem is set up. You need to figure out what is the quantity to be made. So let's just put for simplicity. Let's say you're going to make 10 of A and 10 of B and if you did that your profit or contribution should really be and I'm going to rewrite the formula equal to sum product these numbers times these numbers and when you do that these are the total amount of time you will need in department A, B, C, D and they are all below the maximum time available. Alright, so this is a point where you need to figure out what is the optimum quantity and to do that all you do is you click on solver Okay, at this point you say you're trying to maximize this number. Select maximize uh, by changing what value. So you need to decide you are going to change these values. Quantities to be made. So click on that and select these two. So add constraints. The constraint, the first constraint is going to be these quantities have to be less than the demand numbers or no more than demand numbers. So that's number one. So add that constraint. The second one is going to be these numbers. They have to be less than the maximum time available for processing in each department. So click on here and select this one. And there's one more final constraint that we need to add. In this example these are discrete items and they have to be in whole quantity select those and make them integer and you are okay you have added all these three constraints so the first constraint is you need to make sure that these quantity that solver finds they are less than these numbers here 70 and 80 respectively number two to make these quantity that whatever number they come up with they these numbers the total demand of time in department a b c d must be less than 2400 and finally these numbers have to be integers. Once you have that click on solve and it says okay it found an answer. You want to keep the answer select keep the answer and say okay and this gives you the final answer that you must make 70A and 58B and your resulting contribution the total contribution is going to be this number 4991.5 which is 70 times 37.75 and 40.5 times 58 and that concludes our discussion on the solver.